Hi YouTube, it's Tasha. I want to share with you my July dangle for the Charm Dangle Swap over at the beach with Joanne. The theme was Distress Vintage or something along that lines. And I kind of struggled with this because with me being relatively new, I just really didn't know what to do. So once I thought about it, the only thing that came to mind with vintage anyway was black and white films. So what I did was I got the Sizzix film strip die and I cut out two of the film strip pieces for each tag actually. Um, I had to think about some people that I thought were, you know, great to me that I remember watching on TV back in the day when we had the black and white films. And one of the ladies that stood out was Miss Pearl Bailey, and this is her. And the other one was Miss Dorothy Dandridge, and there she is at the bottom. There aren't any particular order, I just put them that way and on the back actually is some music paper that looks like it's maybe a vintage type newspaper that I got from Michaels so I just put that on the back just because and I sandwiched the pictures between this paper and some acetate that I cut out to kind of make like a window type effect I put some little paper flowers here that I got from I think it's the recollections line it was in the wedding section at Michael's and they were on clearance and I, I thought they were cute and because these ladies to me um, symbolize you know, the entertainment and music I put this little clip on the little I think it's called a travel clip paper clip which is actually going to hold my information on the back because I really didn't take into account of where I was going to put it so I'm just going to clip it on with that just to add a little extra embellishment and that's the tag and this is the dangle her name is Miss Vicky I did some research a while ago on vintage and read somewhere that vintage is, doesn't necessarily mean old it means that it's no longer being produced so with that being I had some pennies left over from another dangle that I did I think these are 1936 or 46 pennies steel pennies so it's vintage and or antique so I think it fit right in these it's just some beads from I think seashells or some type of shell that you get at Michaels and because it was white I put it on this is a one of those music clap charms that I got from eBay this is actually a vintage glass bead and I just stuck it in there because just to add one little pop of color and that's the real reason why that bead is there alongside you know that it being vintage doesn't hurt at all this bead is just a little clear bead that I got at Michaels this little drop here I created using the glass beads that I alcohol ink to make it look distressed with the base metal silver spacers on each side and this bead in the middle is actually a sterling silver bead that I got at Hobby Lobby. And it looks like it could be kind of vintage. I just I just like the look of that particular bead. And the last piece, but certainly not the least, is this little thing. I think that's the ten hope fragment pieces, I think. And that lovely lady right there is Miss Josephine Baker with all her regalia in that pretty I love those earrings and the little headpiece she has on and she completes the dangle the dangle is on a Tim Holtz swivel class like I said this was kind of hard for me 
because I really didn't know what to do, what to expect. Oh, did I tell you about the little key back there? Yeah, I alcohol inked this little key to, to make it look like um, it was, had patinaed. So it's also a little base metal key or Tibetan silver, which actually contains little or no silver, or relatively no silver that I got from eBay. So these are on the way, Joanne, and I just wanted to show you guys these, and they're actually going to come in, I'm putting them in these little vintage style bags. So I hope I did this vintage thing right. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think, and I appreciate you. Bye-bye now.